Well, we haven't done one of these for a while. An episode of Keep It 100. Well, today I'm here at St. George Leagues Club. You may want to have a look at it, check it out. But we're here for a kickstart for Bell Property, their financial year kickstart. I'm planning to deliver some key messages. Think about the buyer experience right here today. How can you get buyers to get an offer? How do you get a buyer to increase their offer? So one of the things that we're gonna talk about is if you don't know how to connect, you can't convince. And if you can't convince, you can't confirm. And if you basically can't confirm, you've got a hell of a chance of trying to convert and then you're absolutely not gonna be able to close. Right now, there's so much fear and uncertainty and what you need to be able to do in today's market is articulate your message in a very powerful and desirable way to a buyer, to move them from fear and uncertainty and just into possibility. Like LBB people, limiting buying belief. What I'm gonna teach these guys today is how to deconstruct a belief, because that's all it is, is their belief system, and how to move buyers from sitting on the fence to moving forward. Anyway, I've got a jam, so I better rock. I'll catch you later. Can you believe it? One word, epic. That was an incredible morning this morning with the Bell Property team ready to kickstart. They've got a blueprint, they've got a plan of how they're gonna be able to deliver their message in a way, way more powerful and desirable way than they've ever thought for with a buyer and a seller. So communication is one of the biggest shifts that you need to make this year. You gotta cut through all that noise, the uncertainty, interest rates going up, you know, property prices dropping, how do you get that message across? Well, we unpacked that today. It was super cool. And now they have a different belief of how they can actually break down that belief from a buyer. But more importantly, it's what? Four or five weeks to spring? We're going into a six week sprint, ladies and gentlemen. These guys are gonna hit it. Not a marathon, but a sprint. Talking about a sprint, I better sprint out of here.